here's what to say. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. That's the way. Welcome to the show, everyone. It's a new year, and it's great to see you again. My name is Nathan. I am one of your teachers here on Let's Talk in English. So, what are we going to talk about today, the first day of the year? Our topic is small talk, and our lesson is called Nice to Meet You. Nice to meet you. So, Katie, do you like to meet new people? Yeah, I think I really like to meet new people. It's interesting because you can learn a lot of cool things from new people. Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I'm your other teacher here at Let's Talk in English. I think we have a great show today, so I'm excited to get started. And now it's time to look at today's Read It. Katie will read it together with you, so open up your magazine and read it with her now. There's a guest at the studio today. Patty Jones has a meeting with Carol, but Patty is a little early, so Megan can show Patty around the office area. Megan is Carol's secretary, so she knows lots of things. She can introduce Patty to other workers. She's pleased to give Patty a tour. So, Katie, it's great to see you. How are you doing today? Um, I'm good, Nathan. How are... shouldn't we get... Well, isn't the weather great today? It's so nice outside. Yeah, it's great, but don't we need to start teaching? Well, Katie, I am. I'm making small talk. You're making small talk? Why? We need to teach. Well, because that's today's topic. Oh, that's right. I get it now. We make small talk a lot with people we see during the day. That's right. You make small talk when you talk about little things like the weather. And now, before we get started with our lesson, let's look at our keywords with Christine. Hello, we're going to look at today's words. Today, we're going to look at the first word, meeting. Meeting is a meeting with someone. We often say have a meeting with someone, 表示与某个人开会的意思。第二个单词 area, area 是名词，它是地区、区域的意思。像今天的 office area 就是办公区域。另外的 a parking area 就是停车区。第三个单词是 secretary。Secretary 是秘书，这个字有点长，我们可以把字拆开来比较容易记哦。Se 就是 S E， Cre 就是 C R E， T E T A， Re 是 R Y， Secretary， Secretary， 这样子就可以轻松背单字咯。再来看第四个单字是 Introduce。Introduce 是动词介绍的意思。这个字常用的说法是 introduce A to B， 表示把 A 这个人介绍给 B。比如说 ，I'll introduce you to my boss。我会把你介绍给我的老板。再来看最后一个单字 ，please。Pleased 这个字是形容词，高兴的意思。今天 Megan 就说 ，I am pleased to meet you。就是我很高兴认识你的意思。Hello, I'm looking for Carol. Is she here? Yes, she is. But can I help you? I'm Megan. My name is Patty Jones. I work down the street. I'm pleased to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Do you have a meeting with Carol? Yes. But I'm a little early. Megan meets someone new today. Katie, what do you say to people when you meet them for the first time? Well, when I meet someone for the first time, I often say, "I'm pleased to meet you." And that's what Megan says in our conversation. But what else can you say when you meet someone? Well, you can also say it's nice to meet you, or I'm happy to meet you. 
I think both are very polite things to say to someone. You're right. Now, if you're pleased about something, you're happy about it. When you say you're pleased to meet someone, you're happy to meet that person. Or I say that I'm pleased to do something else. I'm pleased to help my mom cook dinner at night. But you can also use this word in another way. Yes, we may try to please other people by doing something nice for someone. And, of course, we often say please when we ask for something. Hey, Katie, could you do me a favor, please? Sure, Nathan. I would be pleased to do you a favor. Thanks, Katie. Now, can you answer this question? Do you go to meetings often? Well, I often go to meetings for work. But friends, you might go to a meeting at your school. And I sometimes go to meetings at church. That's a fun meeting to go to. But Patty is meeting with Carol. She works down the street. Oh, let's look at the phrase down the street. That just means she works close by. We'll learn more about that later. Nathan, would you answer this question, please? What would you do if you were early to something? Well, when I'm early to something, I usually find something to do until it is time to go to the meeting or wherever I'm going. Friends, what do you think? Is it better to be early or late? Now, what do you do if you're late to something, Katie? Well, if I'm late to something, like a meeting, I usually try to call my coworker or my boss to let them know I'll be late. And then when I get there, I always say I'm sorry for being late. Good idea. Now, Christina is going to tell us more about how to use the phrase down the street. Down the street. 接系词 down 有沿着什么往下的意思，所以 down the street 就是表示沿着这条街往下的不远处。比如说，现在有一家很好吃的餐厅就在这条街上不远的地方，你可以说 There's a nice restaurant down the street。或者你如果想要表达自己是住在这条街上不远的地方，你可以说 I live down the street。In another meeting now, she'll be here in 15 minutes. Do you want a short tour? A tour? Sure. I can show you around the office, and I can introduce you to some of the other workers here. Thanks. What is your job? I'm Carol's secretary. I help her with, well, everything. Patty gets a tour of the office. I like to go on tours. Have you been on a tour, friends? Nathan, have you ever been on a tour? Hmm. Well, I've been on a few short tours. Now, when you go on a tour, you see a lot of interesting things. Katie, when do you go on a tour? Well, I often go on tours when I go to a new city. A tour around the city is a great way to see new things.、Hmm. Well, Megan says she can show Patty around the office. If you show someone around somewhere, you show someone a place. That's right. When I got a new apartment, I like to show my friends around my new apartment. And I might show someone around a new school. I can show them the classrooms and where to eat lunch. But sometimes in English, you might tell a friend that you want to show them something. That means you just show them one thing. You might show your friends something you saw on the internet. But now Patty asks an important question. She asks Megan, "What is your job?" And that's a great question to ask when you meet someone new. But It's also our calendar phrase. What is your job? What is your job? 你的工作是什么 ？I love my job. What is your job? It's a lot of fun. 
What is your job? I make everyone happy. What is your job? I sell ice cream. Wow! That's a great job. What is your job? What is your job? 你的工作是什么？ That was great. I'm sure you all know how to ask that question now. Ask someone today. Now we know that Megan is Carol's secretary. Oh, that is a hard job. Nathan, what does a secretary do? Oh well,、uh, secretaries do a lot of things. They help a person at the office. A secretary often answers the phone in an office and sets up meeting. Meetings for people who work there. Yes, a secretary does a lot of things. It's a very hard job. So, have you ever been a secretary before, Katie? Well, one time I was a secretary in an office. It was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed it. I might do it again. That's great, and I think you'll enjoy learning a new sentence pattern with Christine. 去行 show someone around 就是带某人四处去看看，或者是去参观的意思。因为 around 可以当副词，表达四处、到处的意思。所以 ，Can you show me around？ 就是你可以带我四处参观一下吗？如果有人是开车载你到处去参观，你也可以说 He'll 